it's Alicia here, the Diamond Stitcher on social media. Uh, welcome. I have another small shop haul uh, for you. I've been very busy um, scouring Etsy and other small shops in our community um, to try out some new products, order some of my favorite things to show you. Um, yeah, I've got four packages here uh, from two shops. Um, I'm going to open, I think, this one first. I'm going to open this one first. Um, let me zoom in a little bit for you. I'm trying to get used to the camera, where to kind of, how much to zoom in and where to go. Uh, make sure I'm in frame better. Um, this package comes to me from a small shop in the States. Um, thanks for supporting this side hustling, very cute, uh, side hustling mama, sorry, mama bear. A very cute sticker. This comes from Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. Just making sure that the invoice is not in, um, frame. Hi, Elisa. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoy. Jenny. Uh, this is Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. Um, She's been in the, the, the diamond painting community for quite a while. Um, she makes uh, special cover binders that you can put scented oils in. Um, and she's been working on her version of glue dots, I believe for a year or so, uh, perfecting it. Um, she recently did, did her release a couple weeks ago, I believe now. And, um, I missed the first one, but I got, um, a couple packages on, on the second drop, which, which is great. I wanted to try them. I do use my single placer, a couple candies here. I do use my blue dots in my single placer. I'm sorry. I'm filming this at six o'clock in the morning, but I've been up since exactly precisely 1 12 a.m. Can't sleep. Um, and I have these packages that arrived yesterday. Um, and as I've said before, I have absolutely no patience. So very cute sticker. Love this. That'll go on my calendar. Um, here are her dots. Oh, snap. Crafters Cafe. And she's calling them oh, snap dots. Scented sticky dots. And the scent is unicorn farts. I got two because I can say this over and over again. Shipping to Canada um, can be expensive. So I usually like to order a couple things at once. Um... I had thought of keeping one for myself and giving one away, but um, let me try them and see. I might end up keeping them both for myself um, because I do like using glue dots in my single placer. I um, Now that's all I use in there now. So let me open these and see what scent. I've actually never um, ordered anything from her shop before just because I don't really use cover minders. Sorry, I'm smelling them off camera. It's a very pleasant, very light, um, kind of a sweet scent. A very nice. I love how she's um, um, added some coloring to her glue dots. They're not super st sticky as in that they don't come off here. I should have grabbed some tweezers. Here, give me a second. Okay, as always, never fully prepared. I grabbed some tweezers, a diamond painting pen, and some scissors. Um, and let's see how these work. She also did include an instruction manual here on um, how to use them. Recommend using a new tip. Uh, pull the clear plastic sheet away from the white release paper. Use tweezers to yank a sticky dot off and roll it between your fingers. You should only need one or one and a half dots for your single placer. Use the tweezers or your fingers to load the sticky dot into your single placer or your multi-placer if you're feeling sassy. Um, I, I've i tried glue dots, um, not these, but regular glue dots in my multi-placer. I didn't like them because I found, um, f depending on the length of the multi-placer, it, it would be lumpy. And even if I trimmed off excess, tried to make it flat, just the nature of multiple glue dots um, shoved into the, the placer there um, made it bumpy and that made precision multi-placing not so great. Um, 
especially when you're working with squares, you want your precision to be pretty accurate uh, to get those drills nice and um, straight. Uh, step four is remove any excess from the tip. I just press mine against the outer border of my canvas to squish out any excess. Um, what I usually do with the other glue dots is just trim them off with some scissors. Um, if it's too sticky at first, just dirty it up a bit by pressing on your finger or dab it on your jeans or pajama pants. Probably like Jenny, I'm in pajama pants all the time. I actually have uh, my nighttime pajamas and I also have daytime pajamas because when you live a life of chronic pain and disability, um, jeans are just not happening <laughs> at all. Um, so yeah, glue dots, sometimes when you put the, the new ones in, they can be too sticky. Um, if they're too sticky, it just makes... Um, it just holds on to the diamond, so when you try to put it on your canvas, it won't stick to the canvas. I just dab it on my shirt, actually, uh, whatever I'm wearing. It uh, just dirties it up a little bit. You can use the natural oils on your skin, too. Um, I saw someone recommend dabbing it on your nose or forehead. Get some, some of the oil on it. helps reduce the sticky a little bit. And then step six, get to diamond painting and have fun. She does have a YouTube channel, The Uncrafty Crafter, where she has more tips and tricks. She goes live every Thursday evening um, on her YouTube channel as well. So let me, I'm going to um, change out the glue dot that I have in this single placer. Um, so how I do that, I use my tweezers and I just grab it. And I just pull it out. This tip has only uh, been used uh, with glue dots, at least for the last little while. Um, if you've used something else like putty in there, you can try to get it all out, but you usually have a little remnants left over. Um, put a glue dot in there, kind of swirl it around, try to get some of that excess off as she recommends a, a new tip. Um, this is one of the everlasting tips, stainless steel tips. They are quite expensive. I do have quite a few, but... Um, I do reuse them, obviously. So let me see how these pull off. So she said pull it like this. I'm going to use just the blue one here. So what you want to do is just use your tweezers to squish it. And I kind of wiggle it back and forth until it comes off. And as you can see, it came off quite nicely there, um, quite easily as well. And then what I do is I take my uh, pen and I stuff it in like that. Now, if I just do that, it's going to stay stuck to the tweezers. So when I stuff it in, I just use my finger or thumb to hold it in place there. And what you do is you just push them in, work it in. Once I have it kind of in there, I will put the tweezers down and use my fingers to just push it down uh, as best as I can. Make sure it fills up that whole placer. And then... Um, what she recommended is just pressing down on your diamond painting and it should cut the excess off. So let me try that here on my counter. I'm just wiggling the tip a little bit and you can see it did, um, it didn't cut it quite properly. That's probably because, uh, it's probably a me problem because I can't push down quite hard. So I'll show you what I do, uh, with, uh, small craft scissors. It's just sewing scissors. I just cut the excess off like that. Whoops. See, it's stuck to my finger. You can put the, the little piece you cut off back on the, uh, sticky paper to save it, um, or just discard it. Um, just make sure that goes back in there. Again, when you're using a new glue dot, it's going to be super sticky. To dirty it up, I just, usually I can use my shirt or my sleeve and just dab it a few times. That makes it a little bit dirty, we call it, which can make it easier to pick up the diamonds. Let me grab a tray of diamonds. Here's my current uh, work in progress. It's Fairy Lights by... Um, I'm an art clip. I'm just working on my first row here. Also, we'll give my um, my friend Jackie a shout out here. Her tray company, DP Gal Creations, small shop in Canada. I absolutely love these. Um, look how amazing they line up the diamonds. Just a couple shakes and they're completely lined up like that. I also love how this spout is a little bit longer and, and thinner. It makes uh, putting them back into containers or baggies really easy. So let's try the glue dot. So it's just like using anything else. You just pick up the diamond, 
Now, you think I remember what color I was using in this tray? I think it was the arrow. So it pulled the glue dot out and that's probably because I didn't dirty it up enough. So let's do that again. Sorry, I'm just trying to dirty it up here. Put it back down there. So it works, works perfect. There we go. So as you can see, um, pops out again. Now she does recommend using a new tip to use it. So that could be the problem as well. I don't have a new tip on hand, not even a plastic one. Otherwise I would use that. But here I'm placing quite a few diamonds here with the glue dot. Oops, that's because I stuck the tip of the pen to the canvas. My problem again. It's a little hard for me to see because I usually use a light pad, but too much work to bring it over. So it has popped out again. Um, I will continue using this in um, my next whip and chat so that you guys can, can see. Once it's been dirtied up a bit, um, it'll probably work perfectly without coming out like that. The scent is, is not super strong, but it's strong enough that you I can smell it from this distance from me. Um, also shout out to Enablers Outpost. This is, I didn't notice, it has like this peach shimmer as well. I noticed yesterday when I was diamond painting in the sun. It's um, my new favorite pen. I absolutely love it. Um, let me put this aside and then I will grab the other um, packages here who are from GP Gal Creations. Uh, again, Canadian small shop based in Alberta. Um, I like supporting Canadian small shops when I can. There's not too many of them, especially that make trays anymore. We used to also have crystal trays, but she doesn't appear to be in business anymore. I did try to message her, but never got a response. Um, we have Les Creations de Clo. She has her own website and trays. My favorite are DP Gal Creations. Um, I absolutely love them. Um, now, when you, if you're Canadian, I'll speak as a Canadian. When you go to her shop to order, shipping is going to pull up to be about 20 bucks or so. Um, that's just the way Etsy um, calculates shipping uh, based on the, um, we call it the flat rate shipping box in Canada. There's three sizes depending on how much you order. Um, it will vary in price from about $18 to $25, I think. Um, if you're ordering just a couple trays, she can send them in these small bubble envelopes. I think she charges $2. Could be up to $4. I think it's $2 though, um, because when you send it ground, you just need an oversized stamp and the size of this, they'll, they'll, um, send it fine. Um, you won't have any tracking, but I've had her send all my trays. I, I bought in quite a bit from her uh, ground and I've never had one lost. So she always sends them in a nice packaging. And I'm always excited to see what goodies she puts inside because I don't eat candy or chocolate, but she always includes candy and chocolate well, most of the time. Um, which I absolutely love, which yes, I am going to eat this at 6.30 in the morning. Um, this one is a nice galaxy black tray. You can see here if I get the light on it, it's shimmering with gold. I really like how her trays work um, with the diamonds. They slide nice and easily. They don't stick. The walls are, are just high enough, um, not too high not too short. I love the spout. The stopper stays in really good. Like if you were to shake it, the stopper doesn't come out. It just lifts out. The spout, I like how it's a, a bit longer than other trays I've seen and thinner. Um, I kit up into baggy, so it's really easy. Let me grab this uh, bag I have nearby. It's really easy to pour my diamonds uh, back into a bag without making a mess, which I really like. I'll use this tray of diamonds. Just give it a few good shakes. And it empties really nicely. No mess, didn't drop any diamonds. Um, with other trays, I, I, I tend to make a mess. And uh, my husband has to clean it up. So 
She also does have tray options from time to time with a lid on it. I wish I had one to show you, but I don't. Um, on her next drop, if she has one with a lid, I'll, I'll purchase it to show you. Her lid fits on snug. Um, it doesn't lock in. None of the 3D printed trays that I know of have locking in lids. Um, Actually, that's a lie. Cat-proof trays. I've not tried them. I've not really researched them. But um, they're supposed to have secure lids that you could throw across the room and, and the lid wouldn't pop off. Anyways, DP Gal Creations. This is, I believe she called it the Galaxy Black. Um, let me see if it says what size this one is. Oh, well, that's not the invoice for that. Um, I usually order medium, so I'm pretty certain this is the medium size. I like it. She has um, four different sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. I believe I did order, yeah, I did order a few different sizes because I did want to show you. So whatever she had in stock, um, I ordered. This one's a small. Bear with me with the packaging. This is a small size, so you can see the, the comparison here. Um, they're the same width, as you can see. It's just a little bit shorter. Um, this is a, a, a Galaxy, I think, Galaxy Purple Tray. Um, you can see the sparkle there. I got this one for me, but I think I might give it to a special, a special young lady whose favorite color is purple uh, coming up in my uh, April event. Um, love the color. Purple is my favorite color. Again, exact same features, same width, same stopper, same spout. Lines are the same, works the same. Um, it's just a little bit shorter, you can see there. She also makes um, tray towers now. Um, I didn't purchase one just because it would make shipping um, a lot more. I will post a link, or not, yeah, I'll post a link in the description, but I'll put up a photo, um, over this clip, um, so you can see her tray towers. She spent a very, very long time perfecting them. Um, I bugged her quite a bit about making them because, um, there's no options for tray towers in Canada. Um, and I know a lot of people like getting up into trays and buying them from the States can be prohibit prohibitive, um, because uh, it jacks up the price of shipping too. Um, so she does have some tray towers available. I believe they fit her small and her, her medium trays, which are these two. Okay. It'll say in the description on her Etsy listing. Uh, stickers. I always love the cute stickers she sends. I usually save these and send them in, um, giveaways, um, or packages I send to friends. Always a thank you. I wish the best with your new channel. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jackie and Mike. If you're watching, here is their card with their info. I hope it's clear on there. DP Gal Creations, most things, diamond painting, pens, pen holders, trays, diamonds, and cover minders. That's right. She's also starting to carry some special diamonds. Um, I will order some from her so I can let you guys see. I've ordered a few diamonds from various Canadian shops to kind of check out the quality, um, the specifics and, uh, and show you guys so that you can make a decision when you're purchasing your special jewels for your diamond paintings. She has a Facebook group. I will link that down below. Um, she posts sneak peeks of her drops on her Facebook group, also on their Instagram, which is DP Gal Creations. Um, their drops are usually, I believe it's when Wednesdays in the evening. Um, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, I want to say. I could be totally wrong. I will make sure that info is in the description of the video. She sent a cute little cover minder as a freebie. Freebies are always um, um, nice. I usually also do the uh, give these away when I do my group giveaways. Very strong magnets on the back, which is nice. Last package here, I think. Yeah, so that's good. I ordered a large. So I've got a small, a medium, and a large tray to show you. She also does have an extra large. Um, she didn't have any in stock when I did this order. Um, it is a tad bigger than the large. More goodies, more candy. Easter's coming. Very cute. Little bunny rabbit. 
And this is a silver tray. I like the light colored trays. I like silver and white uh, are my go-to and a black for the, the lighter color diamonds so I can see better. Same, um, everything's the same. It's just a little bit taller than the medium. You can see there, a little bit taller. Spout works the same, lines, lines up diamonds the same, work perfectly. Um, so this is DP Gal Creations, uh, Canadian small shop based in Alberta. Uh, the other thing I really like about her trays is they're simple. Uh, I personally don't need a complicated tray. I, I usually don't even use the stopper anymore. Uh, when I shake my diamonds, I kind of hold it with my hand covering the spout like that and give it a good shake. Um, so I usually put the stopper aside. Brain fog here. <laughs> Where was my thought going? Oh yeah, affordable. That's the other thing I really like is they are affordable. So for people on a budget who can't afford buying um, more expensive premium um, labeled products um, in other countries, this is a good option for us Canadians. Um, I recommend um, trying them out. I took a look at her Etsy shop last night and it looks like she's almost sold out, um, which is good. Um, more people are getting to know know her shop thanks to some other creators in our community, which I appreciate giving shout outs to some of our, our Canadian friends. Um, that's very nice. Um, so check out her social media for when her next drop is. If you are in my Facebook group, Licensed DP Fans Canada, I also usually will post when she's doing a drop with a screenshot. Uh, she also makes diamond painting pens. I didn't purchase one this time. Um, she makes short ones and regular sized ones, some on the thicker width, some thinner width. Um, she does some flower blanks. She uses some flower blanks, resin blanks, hybrids. Um, and she'll usually drop a handful of pens with, with a few new tray colors uh, on Wednesday evenings. Uh, all the links will be down below. Thank you for watching the video and um, listening to me ramble on. Um, check out DP Gal Creations. Um, I will use um, the O Snap dots in my whip and chat so you can see them working um, and let you know how they how they work out, how they last. Um, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate everybody. Don't forget to like the video uh, before you head out and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can sign up for notifications too. That way when I post a video, it will send you a little message saying, hey, new video is up. You can also subscribe, but turn that notification bell off if, if notifications drive you nuts. Um, so there's that option, but I would appreciate if you do subscribe, hang out with me. Um, I've got, I've got quite a bit planned coming up for different small shops. Um, I, as I said, am going to be unboxing a bunch of special drills from various places, uh, show you the options, some USA shops, some Canada shops, and, and, um, show you what's out there. So stay tuned for that.